Hey guys, this is this Mad from Zcub here, and we're going to do attempt to do a cold storage transaction using three devices. I got my laptop here, I got my new phone, and then I have an older phone. And the format's going to be the private key or the signing phone is going to be the older phone, and the newer phone is going to have the view key for this address. And then I'm going to send this transaction to a, an address that's controlled by my laptop. So this is the address that I'll be sending the funds to. And all right, let's get down to it. New phone, which is where I imported the view key of the cold storage account from on that's on my old phone so if we go into the backup here you'll notice that it only has viewing keys so this account will allow you to view incoming transactions and it'll allow you to create new transactions but they won't be signed nor will they be cast. So let's get down to it. We're going to send to the account on my computer. There we go. We'll send 0.001. We'll just send the max here. Subject. Um, Coach. CS example sending a transaction from we'll call this hot wallet or sure whatever or we'll just say sending a transaction from wallet with view key man oh man okay send the brand transaction got the details send okay here's the fun part so instead of actually sending the transaction and signing it we're going to get a series of QR codes, which on your on my old phone, which is, by the way, unplugged from the Internet, we're going to scan these and till all the data that is necessary to sign this transaction is complete. So with that, I'm going to get my other phone. Be right back. All right. Now I'm on my offline device, which is the old phone, and we need to scan those QR codes. So you're gonna to go to cold storage, or excuse me, accounts, or no. You're gonna to go to advance, sign. Alright, got all that information scanned. Now we are going to sign the transaction. Done. So now we get a new set of QR codes, which we will be used to broadcast the transaction, but we need to use the, uh, the other phone, the one that's online, to scan these. So I will go do that now. We're back on my new phone, and now we need to broadcast the transaction that we just signed. So we do that at advanced. Oh, come on now. Advanced, there we go. Uh, broadcast, here we go. Not 
sure if you can hear it, but because I got my ear pods on, every time it scans a, a uh, QR code, it's going ding to let you know that it's scanned that part of the data. Trying to do my best to two-hand this. The screens keep going offline. There it is. Got a transaction ID, and you will be able to view this on any uh, Block Explorer online. All right, guys. Hope you enjoy this. See you around.